This prompt generator will instruct any LLM like ChatGPT to unlock the top secrets that will create some mind-blowing AI images. Where ChatGPT then asks, want a secret weapon? You're about to unlock one of the most impressive cheat codes for insane realism. You're gonna unlock tons of hidden tips and secrets that you don't know about yet. In the past, I discovered these two prompt styles. And ever since using them, I've been in awe of the realism created. So for an example, here is one of these secrets I noticed not too long ago. Stills archive and then put the movie and then the actual movie studio, but with a space between the last letter of the studio and then the dot com. These really look like the real thing for that movie. But with the prompt generator we're going to be using today, it's going to give you these tips times 100. By utilizing this simple tip that I've used before, that IMG underscore, look how realistic this image looks of the movie Avatar. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg and a quick example of things I've showcased on this channel before. But today, it's time to turn up the heat and turn things up a notch because now, not only will you be getting just one or two tips, with this prompt generator, you'll be able to get tens, if not hundreds. So before we do this together in real time, let me just show you some of the magic I got from these LLMs. Now, again, it doesn't really matter which one you use. However, they will give you different results. Now, the one over here I'm looking at right now is Grok, and I have been incredibly impressed with what this prompt generator gave me. Here is the prompt generator at the top. We'll go over that in just a few minutes, but look at this right here. By simply putting this in, we're gonna get all of these hidden tips and secrets that we should use in our images. I can continue to scroll, and we're gonna get so many incredible top secrets phrases that we should be using. When using the same prompt generator in Claude, same thing. And now when using DeepSeek, look at this right here. We still get that .nef one, but then we're also gonna get some amazing file formats to use. But the one that did do the best for me, I really do think, is ChatGPT, because it gives us this breakdown. Photorealism hacks, scrolling down, cinematic movie universe secrets. So now we can use these little secrets that are meant for movie production studios, and our images are gonna look that level of quality. Going down, visual styles, metadata, obscure aesthetics, the list goes on and on. And then the icing on the cake, ChatGPT asks us right down here at the bottom, would you like a prompt generator for this. And already the level of realism I've been getting in my images has really been blowing me away. Okay, and now to start, let's head over into my prompt generators database. For amazing prompts databases with nonstop updates and lifetime access, click the links in the description. Now this database contains nothing but prompt generators, prompts that generate prompts. Essentially, you'll never need prompts again. And it's going to be in this very first one right here called top secret prompt. Now, again, I do want to remind you, now, you can always get this prompt by getting any of these databases, but a quick reminder, any prompts I do demonstrate in any of my YouTube videos are always available 100% completely free via the links in the description. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is come in here and then just go ahead and copy the whole entire thing. Now, you can see I basically scripted this prompt based on those two other secret ones I showed you in the beginning of the video. Now, if you haven't heard of those yet, here they are right here. So I also do highly recommend after using this prompt generator, try some of these for yourself. Stills Archive, and you don't even have to put the title of the movie. You could just say Stills Archive, comma, warnerbros.com. And remember, put a space after the last letter of the studio and the dot com because you don't want to tie in the actual URL. The one below this one, that IMG, 295.heic. These numbers don't have meaning. You can use any numbers that you want. Again, amazing realism. Same thing for this one here. Using a format like this one right here, or even this heic one, after the colon, if you put in your subject like a tropical beach, you'll get the specific subject. But using these have produced insane realism results. All right, so here we are in Grok, and I'll go ahead and then there we have it. I'll go ahead and paste in the whole entire thing. It basically just says that I want to know some other secrets based on these three right here I recently discovered. Now, just like that, go ahead and submit this. Now, what's so fascinating about this is that every time you use this, it's going to give you a little bit of a different result 
each time. And then you can see it goes to work right away. Okay, now just like that, look at these right here. Hidden secrets and keywords, mimicking studio archives and cinematic sources. So we're gonna get all of these right here that we can use as a template. How about some hyperrealism? There it is again, that dot NEF for those Nikon cameras. And then this one right here, Sony Alpha RAW files. And then scrolling down, we get Adobe Digital Negative Format, which is gonna feel like high quality mobile or pro camera captures. Okay, amazing. The list just goes on and on. Frame Vault, comma, Marvel, unreleased concept art, and then there it is. There is that DSC underscore. Provide some more example prompts. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and let Grok finish his job. Give us these example prompts to use. We'll try them for ourselves. And so while Grok is doing that, let's also come into ChatGPT and paste in this prompt generator as well. You've unlocked the vault. And then let's see, let's see if we get a real vault and see if we get the secret file format tricks that we're looking for. Now, here we go. Right away, we're going to get this Canon raw photo, super high fidelity, amazing. And as I scroll down, we're going to get a lot more. Now, one that does stick out to me, I definitely want to try the Nikon one, but this Sony Alpha series realism, I definitely am looking forward to trying this in addition to this Leica one right here. Archive and branding simulation tags, Hollywood or museum feel. Again, we already did the stills archive, highly impressed with that. So I'm looking forward to trying these other ones as well. Getty Images, Magnum Photo, Life Magazine. Okay, interesting. Camera gear, simulation keywords. So I know for an example, this right here and even this Hasselblad one, using these cameras in your images produce some incredible realism results. So I highly recommend that. And as we scroll down, it just gives us hidden gem after hidden gem. You're gonna be so happy with the level of results that you're gonna get. Now, here is where this really comes into play, a pro combo example prompt. This one prompt alone could produce jaw-dropping fashion portraits with true editorial realism. Now at the bottom, want me to generate a prompt generator tool for these secrets or help you build your own AI visual prompt codex? I can go even deeper. So depending on your level of skill and what you wanna do, you could have it actually do that for you and generate a prompt generator. So I'll say, please provide more example prompts to use for each category. Okay, now just like that, we're gonna get all these prompts that we can use and copy and paste. Now, once you try a few of these example prompts on your own and you really find ones that you like, then take those and then just add your own subject and style. And then you're gonna have the most realistic image possible. But back in the chat, GPT, look at this right here, example prompts. We're gonna get all of these for each individual category, okay? So we're gonna get example prompts for the secret file format tricks. And just like that, look at this, five prompts right away. Archive and branding, five more prompts. Camera gear, five more. As it continues to think, just right away, we're gonna get 50 to 100 prompts, or we can just make this keep going and get more and more amazing hidden gems. So I can do this all day and tell ChatGPT more and more, but let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these in both Grok and ChatGPT and test and try some of these out. Now, I do already have that one prompt still copied, and so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right here. Remember, ChatGPT said, this is gonna create some ultimate levels of realism. So I'm in free pick, I have Mystic 2.5, flexible chosen. Let's go ahead and generate this one. Now, while this is thinking, we're going to go back over here into chat GPT and we're going to go ahead and copy and paste a few more of these to try for ourselves. Now, I did remember mentioning I do want to try the Nikon one and also that Sony Alpha one. But back over to free pick and here are the images we got of that woman and wow, right off the bat, the levels of realism is amazing. Now, I did use this Nikon one earlier, and you could see it right here, that DSC underscore. Look at this. Incredible levels of realism. But I really do love using this keyword, top fashion model shot, Vogue magazine, because it's really going to give you some realistic editorial style photos. Let's go ahead and go back up, and I want to go ahead and try this one right here, Sony Alpha Series Realism. Let's go back over in the free pick, paste that in ahead of your prompt, put a colon, and then there it is. There's gonna be the Sony Alpha, and then there's my subject. Let's go ahead and generate this one. Mm -hmm. 
as we come back in the free pick, oh wow, look at these right here. Again, this is using that Sony one. Look at this right here. The level of realism and clarity, fantastic. And what's so cool about this are gonna be these specific tips right here. For an example, adjusting the years or numbers from 1977 to 83, and then even swap some of the file extensions. Like instead of .cr2, we can use .nef. But then I took a deeper look into what ChatGPT actually gave us, and the level of uniqueness is definitely a 10 out of 10. So check this out in ChatGPT. Look at this right here. This is incredibly unique. Ring doorbell footage, delivery driver at night, fisheye lens motion blur. I went ahead and generated that in mid journey. It looks fascinating. Again, at the very top, this is why I say the uniqueness level is a 10 out of 10. But perhaps the most impressive thing is this at the very bottom, where ChatGPT then asks, want a secret weapon? Well, if you put it that way, of course I want a secret weapon. Let me build you a dynamic prompt generator next. All right, let's go ahead and say yes to that. Now, while it's building us that dynamic prompt generator, let's head over into mid journey and look at some of these crazy good images. Now at the top, look at the ring doorbell footage. Remember motion blur and fish eye lens. So it's supposed to actually look like that. That is incredible. Below this, we have the Instagram post with that dot a R W. Okay. And then this one right here, Google Street View, gritty alleyway, overexposed sun glare, candid motion blur. And then we're gonna have this one right here, specific for black and white, old school 1990s footage. And then again, press kit still, Batman, Warner Bros. And back over to ChatGPT, let's take a look at our dynamic prompt generator V1. You'll choose or input one value for each category below to auto generate a high end layered prompt. Look at this right here. There is an example right there. Amazing. And then the full example output and the generated prompt. So the winning LLM is definitely going to be ChatGPT because not only do I get all these amazing keywords, prompts and prompt examples, it's because it's now going to ask me to take it further and actually build a legit dynamic prompt generator. I can go on and on all day in this same chat. In fact, I think I will. Now, again, I don't want to make this video too long, but what I would recommend after it creates that dynamic prompt generator, go ahead and just go back and forth with it and see what it's going to come up with. I think you're going to be amazed with the final results. But again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.